I'd like to start this video by giving a huge thanks to Dave Jones from the EEV blog and to everyone else who subscribed. It really means a lot to see this many people on my channel such a short time after I started it. I recently got a multimeter from eBay, and like most things from eBay, it's a good idea to test it when you get it. If you're thinking of buying electronics from eBay, take a look at the video I did on the topic here. Professional multimeter testers can cost hundreds of dollars, but I'm not too interested in being highly accurate. I just want an indication of if the meter meets its specs. I picked up a 2.5 volt variant of the LM4040 for around $2.50, which is the cheapest 0.1% voltage reference I could find in a through hole package. I also got myself some 0.1% resistors in various values for less than a buck each. The current source was an afterthought, but I decided to use one of the application designs in the voltage reference data sheet to give me a precision current source. The current source works by the op amp doing whatever is needed to keep the voltage drop across the resistor the same as the drop across the voltage reference. And as I equals V over R, the current flowing through the resistor will be 2.5 divided by 1000, which gives us 2.5 milliamps. I didn't have the op amp specified in the design, so I had to use a really crappy one, which will limit the precision of the current supply. An 8 pin dip socket I had lying around was the perfect size and able to make a good connection with the probes. I also used a socket for the op amp, so I could upgrade it later if needed. I soldered the components to a board and used some hot glue to secure a 9 volt battery clip as a power supply. I left fairly long leads on the precision components, in case I need to desolder them to use in a future project. The voltage is well within the accuracy of the equipment, and the current source, as we calculated earlier, gives us approximately 2.5 milliamps, which is decent considering the crappy op amp we used. The resistors are set up in series so we can combine different values to test different ranges, which will show us bang on. Thanks for watching. If you want to be alerted about my upcoming review of the UT139C multimeter set in this video, please subscribe. It would help me out a lot.